Over the past few years, vintage lenses have been becoming more and more popular because of the introduction of mirrorless cameras. These new mirrorless lens mounts make it more and more easy to adapt old vintage SLR lenses to these new cameras because of the short flange distance. These vintage lenses help to remove that over-sharpened digital look that these new cameras typically produce, and most photos and videos created with vintage lenses have a very unique, nostalgic feel to them that just makes them look special. And the best part is that vintage lenses can usually be found for really, really cheap. So here's how to adapt vintage lenses to your new mirrorless camera. So first up, of course, you need a camera and you need a vintage lens. So my go-to here is the Sony a6000, along with Canon FD lenses. The a6000 is super small, super portable, but creates amazing photos and pretty decent video. And Canon FD lenses are just amazing vintage lenses. There's all sorts of different types and focal lengths, and they create amazing vintage looking images and videos while still being fairly sharp. Like I said, I use the a6000 mainly and a bunch of other Sony cameras, but you can really use any mirrorless camera for this. Whether you have a Fujifilm X-T3 or X-E3 or something like that, a Sony a7 series or a6000 series or any X camera, or one of Nikon's new mirrorless cameras or a Canon EOS M or M50, any mirrorless camera is going to work perfect for adapting vintage lenses. So now the only thing in the way of your new mirrorless camera and your old vintage lens is of course a lens adapter. So you're going to need a lens adapter to mount any vintage lens to any mirrorless camera because the mounts are going to be totally different. The flange distance is going to be much farther for the vintage lens, which is why you need one of those thick lens adapters to kind of push the lens farther away from the sensor. Now my go-to lens adapter is from Photosy. Uh, these things are built like tanks, they're made 100% out of metal. Now I've had these adapters for all sorts of different types of lenses and all sorts of types of cameras and they're just built like tanks, they work great. I'm gonna go ahead and link this adapter down in the description if you wanna check it out. Uh, they only cost about $15, so there really isn't much in the way of using your vintage lenses on your new cameras. So when you're selecting the adapter you need, there's basically a list of all sorts of different cameras and all sorts of different lenses that it adapts between. And so you need to make sure you get the correct lens adapter. So for example, this setup right here, I have the Sony a6000, so it's gonna be a Sony E-mount to Canon FD adapter. But if you have a Fujifilm X-T3, for example, that'd be a Fuji X mount to Canon FD or to M42 or to Nikon or whatever vintage lens brand you're using. Just make sure you get both sides of the adapter correct, the camera and the lens side. Otherwise, it's not gonna work at all with your setup. So as you can see right here, this is the Sony E-mount camera adapter. And then I'm gonna scroll down this list and find the adapter with the FD lens mount on it. And it's as simple as that, this is now the Canon FD to Sony E-mount adapter. So once you have the adapter, all you need to do now is attach the adapter to your camera, twist the lens on, and you're all set to go shoot some videos or photos with a vintage lens. Also, some cameras might not want to take a photo because with a vintage lens, there's no electrical connection between the lens and the camera. So your camera isn't going to think there's a lens on it. And so a lot of cameras won't want you to take a picture with no lens on it. So it's going to have like this warning on your screen saying, no lens attached, you know, can't take a picture or something like that. Most cameras in the settings will have a setting called release shutter without lens. So go scroll through your setting menu and find that and just make sure that's enabled so that you can shoot photos without a lens attached. Because like I said, your camera is not gonna think there's a lens attached, so it might kind of freak out at first. And one last thing to note, with vintage lenses, everything is gonna be manual. So it'll be manual focus, manual aperture, everything is gonna have to be manually done. So this means it'll take more time for you to actually get your shot correct, get the focus right, get the exposure right, but it'll really help to connect you with what you're shooting and really just make it even better when you do get a perfect shot. So without further ado, here's some examples of what I've captured with vintage lenses on digital cameras.
And there we go. That wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to go down and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. And I will see you in the next video.